Folks, and welcome back to the Crusher Lock story. This is part two, continuing off from yesterday's action. Let's see what my part, so-called partners, teammates, and the, the hurt business MVP and Gabriel Slade has to say. This group is built on trust, a brotherhood, open communication. So you want to explain what the hell that was all about? You said I'm the CEO, right? So I acted like one and took charge of the situation. A good CEO checks in with his partners before acting in a way that puts the entire business at risk. And Slade, you're not off the hook either. You went along with his short-sighted plan. No, you're right. I know I'm right. Come on, have a mind of your own for once. Stop being a follower. Let's be real. That's what's held you back your entire career. Understood. All right, enough about that. Let's learn from it and move on. Now we need to focus on these singles matches before this situation gets any worse. It will be me against Kofi. Gabe, you've got Big E. And Locke, you're up against Xavier Woods. Make sure you take care of business. I will. Okay, Xavier Woods. Looks like someone's going to be joining me in the comments shortly. Oh, doubt. The deadly. Almighty. Whole scary. The boogeyman. No one has to try that. What is it just? I got the fly by night. She's gonna paint all the tribbles that I want to. Social media of chatless. Chosen. Check my social media and it's still in the action. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was you. I can smell you. I knew it was you coming. I didn't enjoy my pate, and they were giving me about 20 minutes, caught an hour I did. If you weren't going to join, I was going to do some more. The crush a lot. So I decided to do crush a lot instead. I'll get another part of the channel. I don't know how popular these videos will be, but there's some content for the channel in the meantime until the show starts back. Time killers, really. That's all I'm doing them for. Plus, they want to unlock the stuff for the indie shows anyway. So, here we go. It's Woodsy! Season. Oh, nice. Here comes the crush. That is a from Newport, Wales. 
There's gold as Crusher's wearing in here. And there's gold that Crusher's looking to get. Because he's coming out on retirement. I'm joining Spirity, Spirit, Pro. Yes, he's in the breaking new year first. Crusher's going to wrestle Burning Spit of Pro at the Hawaii Virtual Wrestling Alliance. The Crusher will still be calling the action. You pussies out there. <laughs> so learn that and a shoot. Send that one off to the boys. I dare ya. that video I couldn't they get the tail of what they was on about much to have to rewatch it again. I do some sort of head of the tails of it. Oh that's why Crusher never goes off the top rope. <laughs> he never hits it. He's not gonna beat me in the head, but what's he? This is the oh fuck! No way! Not that move! Not the last shot. She's the little wolf around there, sweet. I remember him hitting. I remember him beating someone once. I don't actually. Cause I remember who though. Should be a walk in the park. 
Flash Nobody kicks out the first fall. That's just gonna fly. Yeah, No, not the day one, but uh, that head business. Well, at least I took care of business. Congratulations! You did your part in trying to get us out of the situation that you got us into to begin with. All because of some jealousy over a video game? We care about championships in the hurt business. And besides, I told you to focus on singles matches. Get your priorities straight. This may have been a bump in the road, but I know what the end goal is. And none of this changes that. Okay. Well, you're going to get the chance to back up your talk. I got word that it's going to be all three of us defending the championships against the New Day in a six-man tag. I never intended for any of this to turn out this way. But I promise we will walk away with our titles. Oh, it looks like JJ's not gonna kiss and tell. Oh, poor Soyak. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna have to hear the Dougley story. The 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 cushion story again. I might tweak my appearance live on camera. Don't hurt your eyes now, Crush is gonna be in his underwear.
wrestling in him before. No, I don't think they're not like my change the color. Ah, I've no tie down for the Dugnies on the game. Otherwise, I would. They said the closest trunk uh, tights to it. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to go for. <coughs> this is going to be the closest to it. I think I am gonna get. I don't think there's any dugly pants on the game, unfortunately. Thank you. 
Can't see the belt with that one. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Which one are we looking for? That's all the hood business on it. I'm not very inventive, so I have to get Scott to work on the new long balls for me. Not really good for logos. Oh, I know what. We're not really good at making logos. Star Wars in this game. Hey, that's cool. That's new. That's new. That's new. I like that one. That's new. I like that one. Mm. I know for Crusher though. Latino Heat! Oh, man, 25 years straight. That's cool. <coughs> Generation X. <laughs> Making history, that's quite cool, what's that? Oh, 
rule number one. Oh, how nice! <laughs> so thing. Oh, I like that one. Sammy Dean in it though. How do you change the color of that? Well, that's a fucking glitch. That's a glitch. I can't see it now when they couldn't see it earlier. Oh shit. That's some bullshit right there. <sighs> default out on the back of that I'll leave that It's me. Oh, 
Hey, I'll be all day doing the logo and fit the Watch this lock, that really cool. That's so much slack. I quite like that. It's not bad. Look everybody, it's El Mango! Don't tell me El Mango Jr. is not in the game. Don't be joking. I <laughs> can buy it counts. Not changing all the face. This is just my rise after all. I am messing around with the face. Not figuring about what all that. I'll get on with the story. So what? Don't know what that is. Hmm. Not 
su bar Ah, não tinha um fanel. 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 Ah, Look like I'm going fishing, suki bugger. I am going fishing for some nuts. An experiment. Damn it! I had that match won. Well, at least I took care of this. Congratulations! You did your part in trying to get us out of a situation that you got us into to begin with. All because of some jealousy over a video game? We care about championships in the hurt business. And besides, I told you to focus on singles. Oh, thank you. Deja vu. I'm just in the spec. This may have been a bump in the road, but I know what the end goal is. And none of this changes that. Okay. Well, you're going to get the chance to back up your talk. I got word that it's going to be all three of us defending the championships against the New Day in a six man tag. I look forward to showing you what I'm capable of. We will not lose. Let's go. No, I ain't going fishing yet, chicken. Son of a gun. I have to look online and see like things in Dugby Boy pattern outfit. Maybe tweak it then. Let's have a look and see. Let's find a custom Dugby attire and copy and paste. I'm sorry, I'm gonna meet in the ring first show. I had a new day this year, it looks quite cool later. Oh no, they got pancakes, booty over and a trombone! Pancakes and booty old fucking hell. 
And I trump about the fucking boot. I put it on the line, my belt's on the line anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to watch two of the premier teams in WWE face off for the Raw Tag Team titles. It's the Hurt Business versus the New Day. The Intercontinental Champion is going against Xavier Woods, but the New Day is coming into this six man tag team title match with all the momentum. There are rumors of friction within the Hurt Business. We'll see if that affects the outcome here tonight. Let go, viral. And shoulders are down. Biggie crashes to the outside. But should have put him on there. Down e. Too many times they got Come on, me. Finally! 
Oh, funny. There's an extra boy here. Oh, funny. You keep it up. <laughs> See what happens in the first show. Keep it up. the crushing a lot like that. He's on the road. 
Oh shit! Look at this one. Look at the tag.
Oh, yeah. This is a tough match. and the little partners of the past. A lot of them. Cheek of Olivia, Olivia and Emma, or the hell, the blue hell do you think you are? By boring, charming. Intercontinental Champion, and now as a member of a strong faction. But how do you respond to those like Ricochet, who would suggest that anyone who would join any iteration of the Hurt Business must be compensating for weaknesses in the ring? And I'm gonna fight Ricochet. Logan Paul picked a fight with Paul Heyman when he claimed that the E in ECW stood for easy. Now Heyman wants me to make an example of him for, and I quote, blatant and reprehensible disrespect. You free for an extreme rules match? You have my blessing to do whatever you want to Logan Paul in the ring. But you know now, I know we disrespect ECW. No one that crushes watch. I'm carrying the torch, you know. Like Logan celebrity ass clown balls gonna get their ass kicked. When the tribe of extreme rise again. One, the only, Logan Paul. 
Look at this crap. It's an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 185 pounds. <coughs> Logan Paul. Oh, yes, celebrity has been. The career is off to an amazing start. You're right, Saxton. This guy nearly ended the 800 plus day universal title reign of Roman Reigns in just his third match. In the ring, it's time to get extreme on your ass. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. <laughs> From Newport, Wales, weighing in at 280 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Crusher Crane. The tension building for this match. Uh, cool. Clip them with the belt a lot. Jesus. That's bad. They need to sort that clipping thing out. The E in WWE usually stands for entertainment, but tonight it stands for extreme, as Logan Paul and the Lock are facing off in an extreme rules match. Did you uh, get that clear with Robert Cole? Uh, you're missing the point, Corey, which is that nothing comes easy in WWE. Ooh. I think I missed more than the point because this I have to piece of shit. Oh. Oh. Ah. Celebrity has been. Oh, 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 shit. This is Logan Paul's perseverance getting tested. He manages to escape it. This is shit. This is shit. This is shit. Thank you, Lucas. Yeah, the the YouTuber can't beat all the way exactly. The big evil soak slam! Boom, 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 boom. Taking it outside the ring now. Of all the toys underneath the ring, he just had to go with the one that ensures splinters. Into the ring now. I don't know what they're looking for here. And now with the Kendo stick in hand. Oh, we want to find Kendo stick, huh? Oh, no, oh. oh, hey, ref. He's looking a little weary now. Well, you don't sign up for an extreme rules match without knowing the consequences. And that definitely made solid impact. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. The Locke's showing that edge. That Man, I thought he's waiting. Pull back in. The belly suplex. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Oh, the reversal Ooh. by Logan Puck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm going down from the table, son of a gym. He gets sent down to the floor. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. He gets back into the ring. And he's going to make you bleed, baby. Oh. Oof. And he has no regard for anyone else Shit. now that he has this sledgehammer hand on the sledgehammer. Position. Like that. Oh, okay. Can he carry it? I'm sure what they're thinking. Who's Bob? Good night. I give you mean juice. I gave him easy. Oh, I'm going to fish him and crush it in a minute. When you be in the Libyan's box, bands on channel. See what Twinkle's got to say. Bro, I got a proposition for you. Want to trade titles? My 24 7 title that I just won off of R Truth for your Intercontinental title? A trade? I haven't been here very long, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Oh, come on, bro. You gotta learn to think outside the box. Like, so far out that the box never even existed. Oh, shit. Kind of like your IC title show. See you around. <laughs> oh, you put money in my wallet. I <laughs> don't see no paycheck from you, too. I'm sure it was. You got, you got some nerve showing up in our locker room. Not exactly. See, Evolution and the Hurt Business don't really have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong side. And now that decision is going to cost you your Intercontinental Championship. Really? Who's going to take it from me? You? I could. But I've chosen to let Damian Priest do the honor. I'm not scared of Priest. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Let's get to know each other a little bit. What I'm thinking is first, you have a non-title match against Theory. Then it'll give us a chance to pick apart hey, all your weaknesses for a title match. I know you've been around a long time, but you can't just walk in here and make those kinds of demands for you and your groupies. Tell Priest to get in line. You can only delay the inevitable for so long. Evolution is coming for everything you've got. <clears throat> I guess they're supposed to have done that match, would not they? Looks like it. You change your mind about my proposal? Face theory in a non-title match. Then you get Damien Priest. Uh... 
I think you mean Priest gets me. And he's going to get a lot more than he can handle. We'll see about that. Alright, let's go. I didn't know that actually. I didn't know we could make money from YouTube. You also show me a help video how to make money off YouTube. I could do with that. Money, 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 money! I'm giving up my bedtime to do this. <coughs> Maybe I should have broadcast it earlier, though, I might have got more views, but you know. I should have broadcast it earlier today. Like I said, though, I'm only doing this just for the good content on the channel. Kate, you know the plan. I want you out there for Locke's match to make sure Evolution doesn't get involved. No problem. Hold up. Do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself. And if Evolution does get involved, then I'll be able to get some shots in on Orton and Priest. Don't see a problem there. Or we fall right into their plan and they get some shots in on you before your title match against the priest. Come on. We need you fresh. Priorities, right? Gabe, you're going out there with them. Just trust me on this, okay? Come on, let's go. I smell a rat. That's for sure. It's not Dirty Dave's. I smell a rat. <coughs> oh, God damn it. I'll have to grab a drink in a bit. Now, Master Case, keep commenting so I can bring the money, 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 money. And whoever else is here, comment! I need your money! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get to kick the tough fairy's ass again. Sucking me, man, fucking tough berry. Fucking ass clown. John Cena smashing at mania. Get tough berry. It's the man who might transform WWE forever. The Lock. Hmm. 
No, I might just come in and off a little soul and then call it a night, I think. I know it'll be up too late. I got things to do tomorrow. Current wrestler? Oh, that's a tough question. Uh, oh, Probably Kenny Omega. I'm an AEW fan, actually, more than anything. Probably Kenny Omega, currently. Ring 
Oh fuck, what's this? Oh! Oh, what just happened? Right, I didn't that one. Rewind, rewind, I didn't that one. And then that one. Got beat by the tough fairy ass kid and cock sucking the man, the ass clown. Is in his corner. Makes you wonder, is MVP still losing trust in the lock, or is Gabe out here to keep an eye on the viper? Three times over, tough fairy. Enough already. Just pounding away. What a punch! And yeah. Should have kicked you up the ass to begin with. Standing over. Why join that McMahon Kiss My Ace Club? Stop it. 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 Stop this is shit. Get up. Should have been a free. Not 
this time. Tough feeling. It's time! It's time! It's time for the Vader Ball. Curious to see what's coming next from the second row. Oh, they're going to win. <coughs> God. I'm going to have a drink now. Ugh. I'll try to drink the water, I think. Right, I'll be right back. There's two ticks of the dog's tail. Hmm. 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 Oh. All right, all right. Let's talk strategy. Lock. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm going to be in your corner to make sure the hurt business protects his assets. You know what I'm saying? What's your deal? You think I can't win without your help? If you've forgotten, I was champion long before you recruited me. And another reminder. You're the one who said I was ready for prime time, but now I need protection? Which one is it? It's not about all that. Our goal in the Hurt business is to hold championships, <laughs> not lose them. And we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, <laughs> but I'm gonna be out there to make sure it happens, because I know damn straight Evolution will be doing everything they can to take what's ours. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's gonna think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. Gabe's gonna say whatever he thinks you want to hear, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That the Hurt Business isn't just a crutch propping me up. You said I was the CEO. So take the handcuffs off and let me make this call. Okay, you're right. I chose you for a reason and this is it. Good luck. We'll be watching. Oh, you don't need your asses. See you back here. You're just my bitches. Pushing time. 
I got a funny smell of rat still though. I smell old fashioned double cross coming. Well, I appreciate you ever sticking with us to the end because I know it's late here in the UK. It's about 25 past one in the morning. So I have to appreciate you sticking around. Here comes a oh. reckoning. The archer oh, is ready to pass judgment. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Oh. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. <laughs> Introducing the challenger, representing the Judgment Day from New York. New York. Oh, they have a Evolution. And I mean Evolution and I mean evolution as the story goes. Yes, yeah, did he did he win it? No longer cares for the rest of the locker room because he has found his true family, and the Judgment Day is their name. A look of pure disdain on the face of Damian Priest. But because he has passed judgment. Yeah, that's done. The man destined to be top dog. It's <laughs> the lock. <coughs> and introducing the champion from Newport, Wales. Weighing in at 280 pounds. Crusher Craig. Here we go, guys. We're going to finally have a champion after this one. And you have to imagine these superstars are feeling the pressure here. You don't come into a match of this magnitude without feeling it at least a little bit. this box. Oh, he's late. Oh, the Intercontinental Championship, the world's ugliest title. It continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is free. It smells something fishy going on here. Working champion in all sports entertainment. <laughs> Hey, we got some viewers. Welcome to the broadcast. We're doing an electric matchup here on Raw as the lock faces the toughest challenge he's had in his young WWE career. One's ready. Not much by that pin attempt. He's really trying to get the best. Everything you please for attacks. Oh, what a wind up. Shit. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Damn. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, right to the leg. Lock able to get out of the way. Nothing fancy here, just raw power. The challengers will be shaking. for attacks. Top rope. I'm running no crunch. It doesn't do top ropes. 
And they watch none of my virtual wrestling and stuff. My BCW stuff, my virtual WCW stuff. Oof. Smelt the rack. No. The evolution of WWE has begun. Evolution was too much for the lock to handle, which makes you no. I knew I should have climbed that top rope. Never ends well for the crusher. This cost me my belt. Damn. Who's <laughs> What the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then in case you missed it, Evolution attacked me after. I could have used some backup. This is private business. Do you mind? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your problem? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you. But I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower. That I lack killer instinct. That it's held me back my entire WWE career. I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before any of this hurt business stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision that you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the new day was a wake up call. And then your stubbornness against evolution only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So why should we go out of our way to help you? And maybe MVP was cool with you taking the lead, but I'm not. At least not as long as you continue to act like an entitled SOB. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what MVP wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. He's not wrong. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed repeatedly. What's next? You gonna bring the hurt business down with you? I can't let that happen. If we're being real, you lied to me from the start. You haven't delivered on any of your promises, especially not the one about making me WWE champion. I think I can explain that. It's looking more and more like Gabe is the future world champion in the Hurt Business, not you. Let's face it, 
You're not the block. You're the loot. I don't need you or the hurt business. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see your face again. <laughs> oh, wow. Looks like the crush is all by myself. <laughs> oh, well. How the partnership bites the dust. <laughs> Can't trust anybody. Okay. Okay, Mr. Hickenbottom, wanna talk to the lock? Well, she's he's a crusher, you can stick the lock up your ass. Since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit the Hurt Business. String of bad luck, or all part of the plan? It was bad luck. I had Priest beat before the ref got in the way, and Evolution cheated to take my title. But honestly, it's for the better. I feel like a weight has been lifted from me. Dead weight in the form of MVP and gay. I never felt comfortable in the hurt business. But now that that's all behind me, I can focus on what's next. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than the hurt business ever did. So, what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE universe. <laughs> well, I guess Crush is going to the ring to talk to Mr. Michael Hickenbottom. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. Yeah, and of course, Russian. the lock. It worked for a while. But let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management. <coughs> Especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Let's <laughs> Yeah, you better be careful here. I like this story. Oh, it's picking my own. 
This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know, this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes-men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine. AKA, the truth. All you've done is complain since day one. Thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match. And then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that? And you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on, name one thing. Okay, let's get it all out there. If things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work. Because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit. Throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. That's why I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. That was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention, and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. Did Sean no, Crush is so fired. I think I heard that too. Oh, wow. I what's gonna happen on the cushion now? This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay. <laughs> Looks like the crush is going home. Future endeavored. <laughs> Like I've been fired.
We'll save it for a minute. Well, let's just continue on for a little bit, folks. Another 15 minutes, and then we'll finally wrap it up. Months later, the only 2K motion cap shot. Mm, Flash is going through hard times. We got fired. <laughs> Well, oh, folks, what do you think of that? Crush is fired from the WWE by Michael Hickenbottom. Oh, cool. I don't remember you. Look how both of them are. the crowd now. Hey Locke, I know you were a big time WWE superstar, but act like you want to be here. Don't talk the crowd then. Okay, I got it. Bust me up and black hole coal. Alright, pick up a weapon and use it. Sorry, Cole. Let me 
your bent heavy combo. Boom! 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 Huh? It's not heavy combo. Why the hell is heavy combo working? The heck? That's why I'm trying. I got it. I think. And you have a black hole. Cheeky bastard. Black hole. I'm asked by Kip Nicole Quinn. Come on, mix it up a bit. You've already got enough footage of that move. Cool. Damn it, Cole. Okay, might as well get some more combo footage. Give me a light one. Oh, not again. You look great. I mean, not really. No one can look good in a mocap suit, but your moves look great. Yeah. Yep, I saw the game. Trying to figure this out now. Shit! My ass kicked my black hole coal. Hey Cole, remind me when you're done to talk to you about this guy Baron Blade who keeps texting me for mocap work. Says he's your friend. Seems like a real weirdo. 
Yeah, it's my pal, but I don't bleed. Shit, the cold wind needed gene. Oh, shit. Trying to give you a light come on your dumbass game. Seriously? Oh my god, I'm gonna lost to that DDT. Call the story a night I just saved in not too long ago. I call the story a night, I think. Alright, that's gonna do it, folks. We'll continue next time when I figure out how to hit the combos. <laughs>